Today, I'm going to give you a quick comprehensive guide to optimize your mobile device for Fortnite mobile. Now, it doesn't matter if you watch previous optimization videos, because not only will we be going through the more well-known methods to squeeze out more performance from your device, but we will also delve into developer options to increase responsiveness and to actually track just how well your mobile device is doing. And guys, all I'm asking for you to do is to press that little subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. I'm going to start on much more Fortnite mobile content, and this is just a start. First, you're going to want to go to the settings app on iOS. First, you want to go to the search function and then type in reduce background app refresh. Basically, what this does is it constantly uses an uptick resources on your iPad or device and basically lowers performance in order to basically check if there's any new information from other apps. If you're on a phone, make sure to have the essentials tab to on. But if you're on your iPad, you're not really going to need maps or anything like that. So might as well turn that off. The second thing you want to do is to disable Siri from learning from Fortnite. What I want to do first is go to Siri and then press on the Fortnite app on the app section and then disable the first option over there. And then next, you're going to want to go to the accessibility tabs and then press display and text size. What you want to do is to press increase contrast. And if you want colorblind settings on Fortnite mobile, then you're going to have to go to color filter. And uh, these are and these are just all the options you have for colorblind settings. I'm tinkering around with it. Just look at how it looks on my screen. And if you like how it looks like, make sure to incorporate that. And the most fundamental thing is to reduce your screen brightness in order to reduce heat. My iPad gets hot as well as my phone. It gets blaring hot. However, iOS has auto dim screen options that kick in whenever it's too hot, but just keep your device on the lowest screen brightness as possible where you can still see everything. Next, you're gonna to wanna to reduce background app refresh. And if you are on your iPad, you can turn off location services and turn, and turn off automatic app updates. Uh, just look up to your automatic downloads on the uh, search function for that. And the next thing is turning on developer mode. Now there is two options. You can either download an IPA file. Actually, Fortnite Mobile News on Twitter actually has a IPA file for the new Fortnite season. If you are outside of the country or having issues with older devices not working as well on Fortnite, there's actually a secret other trick if you use the IPA method. What you want to do is uh, download any IPA file. This does not have to be the Fortnite file, but I just shut it out for Fortnite Mobile News because it's sort of a two birds, one stone type of deal. Just download any IPA file, click it, and then open settings and go to pir and go to privacy and security and then turn on developer mode. And then afterwards, you're going to press back and scroll all the way down to developer mode and click that. Now, the other method is if you have a PC of some sort or a laptop, and it could be anything that is Windows or Mac based. What you're, what you're going to want to do is download Tenoshare iCare phone from the official website. And once you got that running, plug in your iPhone and go to the extra settings and turn on developer mode. It will restart your software. It will restart your iPhone, but it won't mess with anything else other than activating developer mode and then just go through the settings and do the same thing over there. And if you're using the IPA method, you are actually able to use a benchmarking tool called Graphics HUD. So what you're going to want to do is uh, turn on show Graphics HUD and log perform and log graphics performance. And as I said, that's only for the IPA me file method. However, it does come with risks depending on which IPA file you do grab in order to play Fortnite mobile. Now for developer mode, you have well, the two options I'll be focusing on is multi-path networking and L4S. L4S is pretty straightforward and pretty much has no downside. It reduces network latency, jitter, and packet loss, and it just leads to a more reliable gameplay experience. And this is essentially NVIDIA Reflex without going to technical terms. For multi-path networking, you have three different options, none, handover, and interactive, and each one of them is better for different scenarios depending on, depending on what your connection setup is. Now, interactive mode is the best of the three options if you want real-time performance. Basically, it leverages both Wi-Fi and cellular simultaneously, and picking and choosing between which one is faster at that rate. And it can also channel both in order to speed up that process. Handover mode usually just conserves the cellular data, but if you have spotty Wi-Fi, whenever it does weaken, it will switch over to cellular seamlessly. If you're having any troubles with these two options, try either or, and then if you are still having issues, just go back to none. Uh, developer options are always able to be reversed, so it shouldn't cause any sort of damage to your phone. Now for Fortnite, go to settings and go to the games hub and disable contextual tips. This will just get rid of the annoying pop-ups you see in game that basically tell you to play the game. And then afterwards you go to game UI tab and then disable the button pulse animation. This basically, disables all the animation you see for the little circles for all the items and your HUD that uses more performance. And personally, I think it looks better this way. And then afterwards you go to your HUD and make all your buttons borderless like so. And that's all I have for you today for iOS. If you want me to make a Android version of this, let me know. Make sure you subscribe for more Fortnite mobile content and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.